if we unfold it, we see that we get a collision. So we will, we will use the associativity of the unfolding to repair this problem. First, we will create a gap between those two flange in, pu in, in pushing this surface. You see that this gap is automatically on the unfolding. But we will now, in the flat pattern, adjust here. This is impossible to do in 3D. If we want exactly one millimeter or two millimeter, this is impossible in 3D. And automatically, the result is on the 3D. Now, in order to avoid uh, <coughs> trajectory of the, of the laser and to reduce cost, we will align those edges. And you see that in 3D, it's automatically uh, reported. Now we will, with this unfolding, we, we can also make, make complex, uh, uh, complex things. For example, make a hole here, and you, you will see you will see that on the uh, on, on the 3D it's reported. So we have done something absolutely useless. <coughs> it means that you see that it is very very simple to reduce cost. But you'll see it is also very, very simple, simple to increase cost. So now um, it remains one thing, the cabin. <laughs> it remains one thing. When we unfold this cabin, the unfolding is perfect, but if you look at the, at the dimension, we cannot produce because our laser machine is too small. So we have to split the, the, this cabin. And there are no uh, good solution, but now we can split inside the lofted band. So we will choose this possibility that was not possible previously. And then we have two parts, smaller, and we can produce. <laughs>